Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile and I'm back with another video. Back with another video. I'm back. Braids are gone. Bun is back. Say hello. I'm excited about the video that I have for you guys today. We are doing a nailed it video, ladies and gentlemen. Smileys. And it turned out really cool, but I want you guys to be the judge. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. This is a marbling technique on my nails. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you comment and subscribe and see you guys next time. Mwah. Hey smileys, you all know how much I love to play and polish and these are the newest additions to my collection. I have this pure white and this cute teal. I also picked up a pale pink and I already have a lot of pink but can you really have enough pink? Yeah. And then finally this deep purple which I love but I can't wait to try them all. So let's get to these nails. I broke the nail on my left ring finger and the nail on my right index finger. I'm so mad about that. I can't even remember how I did it, but I was probably just doing too much. Typically, I would cut them off and just let them grow back evenly, but not today. So I'm just gonna do a bit of filing. I have been working on filing my nails in one direction and not back and forth. I read that you get the smoothest finish when you file from one side of your nail in one direction. So I've been trying to get into the habit of doing that. Next I'm just going to clean underneath my nails with a wooden orange stick. The pointed tip on this tool makes it really easy to remove any dirt and debris from under your nails so that they're nice and clean before you paint them. Finally, I'm going to buff them a little bit to smooth out the surface, which also um, helps our polish appear smoother and even more flawless. And we're one step closer to water marble art. Can't wait. Okay, first step is to apply a base coat. I'm using the Rock Hardener from Nutri-Nail Mineral Collection. Um, it's supposed to strengthen your nails and add a little shine. Then I followed that up and applied uh, two coats of white. This is the white that I showed in the beginning of the video. I applied two coats to each hand. It's by China Glaze and it's called White on White. Okay, I use Second Skin Easy Peel Polish Barrier to protect my cuticles. Some videos showed um, people using tape and others showed people using Vaseline, which I've tried both as well. But with Second Skin, you apply a thick layer to the cuticle around your nails, then allow it to dry. After your marbling, you just peel it away with um, tweezers or an orange stick and you're done. So it pretty much just makes the cleanup process a lot easier easier okay now the fun part take a small bowl of water and choose your colors you're gonna add one drop of each color you should see the polish drip disperse across the surface to form a thin film just repeat this process with each color and aim for about six to eight layers then you're gonna use a toothpick to drag through the colors and create your pattern. Finally, place your nail into the pattern right down into the water. Use the stick to remove the remaining polish from the water surface and remove your finger. That's it. You're gonna repeat these steps for all of your nails or you can try using um, the marbling technique for just accent nails like your ring finger or maybe your middle finger, that'd be cool too. But today I'm gonna do all of my fingers. And remember, move quickly so that the polish doesn't dry and avoid dragging from the outermost circle in because it's most likely that those have already started to dry and it'll ruin the pattern. And just remember, it does take some time, some practice, and some patience. So, you know, just stick with it. And if it doesn't work the first few times, just try again. Okay, once we're all done, you're going to remove excess nail polish by 
peeling away the second skin and it's very easy. Like I say, you just use an orange stick or a toothpick or something with a pointed end. The second skin is made out of latex, so it peels away really easily. And um, after that, I followed it up with using nail polish remover to carefully clean the polish from my finger, the part that wasn't covered with the second skin, and tidy up the edges of my nails as well. This does get a bit messy, but I love the way they turned out, so it's totally worth it. I love it. Okay, just a tad bit more here. And finally, um, I just sealed the polish or sealed the design with the glossy top coat. This is the same um, polish that I use for my base coat. And that's it. Hey, we are done. Thank you so much for tuning in, smileys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And stick around for the finished product. Mwah.